Hi guys. Hey guys, this is Austin. I'm going to be answering some of your questions today. Um, but before we do that, I think I need to make a little costume change. That's better. It's a little cold down here. Anyway, I have my laptop here. I copied uh, your questions. These are just the questions off Facebook. Um, if you haven't liked my Facebook page, it's www.facebook.com slash acmusic7. I uh, talk to a lot of people on there, but uh, I have questions in my email that I'll do for my next uh, question and answer. All right, so the first question comes from, I'm gonna be grouping some of these together because you asked the same question, but I still wanted to say whose question I was answering. So Joseph Anderson and Jonas Posse? Posey? Posey? Yeah, sorry. How long have you been singing and playing guitar? Playing guitar, I'd have to say, Probably since I was 13, so nine years. Singing's a little less than that because I never really sang for people until my friend like begged me to. So I'd probably say like seven years for uh, singing. Next question is also Joseph Anderson. He says, I also saw an RC plane in one of your videos, Do You Fly? Um, I don't personally fly. My mom bought that from my dad for their anniversary, like, four years ago. And he put it together and never flew it. But it would be cool to. I'd like to. He should. So we should. I'll try to beg him to. Next question is, from Troy and Steven, uh, they asked, Who is your biggest influence? I'd have to say John Mayer. Like, the first John Mayer video I saw instantly made me want to learn that song. It was, uh... Not myself. I mean, that was a long time ago uh, when he first came out. But that video itself, I mean, it's not a, it's not very special. Um, frankly, back then he couldn't sing that well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that song made me want to learn guitar and, and sing and kind of do my own thing. Troy also asked. If you could collab with any artist, alive or dead, who would it be? I would definitely want to collab with the Eagles. You know, Joe Walsh, Glenn Fry, uh, Don Henley. I would love to collab with that guy, those guys, or, and sing with those guys. They are my favorite band, hands down. Love them. Best harmonies ever made. It's like four-part harmonies. Ridiculous. And they get it perfect every time they do it in concert, too. Amazing. Next set of questions come from Jamie Ray. It says, can you read music? I cannot read music. I can read tabs and stuff that you find online. Like I Google, mostly when I learn songs, I Google like chords for that song. And I can just do it off that. But I can't read, like actually read music. She also asks, what other instruments can you play? And how did you learn? The only other instrument that I can play well is ukulele and it's not that much different from a guitar it's way easier than a guitar you don't have to hold as many strings the only problem I have is that it's small and my fingers are big <clears throat> the only other instrument that I can play well is ukulele and it's not that much different from a guitar it's way easier than a guitar you don't have to hold as many strings the only problem I have is that it's small and my fingers are big <clears throat> but other than that that's easy and the reason I wanted to learn that is just because ukulele is awesome. Or ukulele, if you're from Hawaii. I don't know the proper way of saying it. I've heard it both ways. But it's awesome either way. Uh, next question is from Tyler Gaskill. If you could play any venue in the world, what would be your first choice? That's pretty difficult. Um, there's a lot of awesome venues. I would probably pick... <clears throat> I would probably pick a stadium of some sort, like Lincoln Financial Field, like where the Eagles play or something, because I love the Eagles, huge Eagles fan. Uh, probably something like that, I think, would be amazing. Next one is from Christopher Carlton. Um, he asked, have you taken singing lessons? I have not taken singing lessons before. Um, I kind of always wanted to when I started singing. I didn't think I was good enough to do anything uh, like you know, make money off of it or anything, or even YouTube for that matter. But uh, I always wanted to, just never got around to doing it. Next one's from Taylor Isham. 
What are your top favorite artists, bands, slash singers, and stuff like that? I love Keenan Grannis. I love the Eagles, like I said before. Um, John Mayer is one of my absolute favorites. I'm really into Dave Matthews Band. Um, Lucas Carpenter. Um, I love that he's a kind of an unknown guy. I opened a, a show for him, actually, which was an amazing honor because I, I think very highly of his musical talents. <clears throat> and he's awesome. You should definitely check him out. He has a YouTube. Uh, can't really think about it. I really like some of like really old like 50s and 60s like the Everly Brothers and you know Dean Martin and stuff like that those guys were amazing back then was when music was the man um, they couldn't really fake anything and they were really good next one is from Karen Haikun Hankahun sorry if I'm saying that wrong um, she asked have you ever took part on American Idol I've never tried out for American Idol. I've had people that have begged me to. I've had one guy say that he would pay for my plane ticket to anywhere they were auditioning, but uh, I've never done it. Uh, and I've never necessarily wanted to. I don't know. I'm just, I think there's a lot more better people than me and I don't want to be disappointed or anything. So uh, I think I might stick to YouTube. Next question is from Katie Simpson. What made you want to start making YouTube videos? I don't really know. I mean, one night I was sitting at work where I worked and I decided I like some of the songs I've written, people like them, why don't I just put them on YouTube for the heck of it. I never had a goal of being famous or anything, I just felt like doing it. Next question is from Nate Fry. Is music something you've always wanted to do? If not, what did you want to do besides music? <clears throat> music was never really something that I thought I could do. Never thought I was um, good enough, I guess. Um, other than music, I don't really have any career choices. Um, I like computers. I've tried to get into uh, working with computers before, but uh, yeah, music right now is kind of my thing. Next picture is from Rachel Hansbach. She said, would you ever consider making an actual album? I would totally consider making an actual album. If I had the money to, I'd do it immediately. But uh, I don't. So it's going to have to wait for a little bit. Um, I can't. I don't really have the equipment to produce like a really good album myself. Um, but I may do it in the future. You never know. Just to do it. Um, if, you guys, if you guys would dig it, I would. I would do it. So yeah, I've definitely thought about it. Well, thank you guys for your questions. Um, I, I asked uh, people on Twitter and Facebook if if it would be cool to add a little section to my vlogs called you know, "Artists You Should Be Listening To." The first person I really want to do—they're called uh, their names are Hannah and Maggie. That's their their group name. I love their voices. I bought their album. I listen to it all the time. It's one of those ones you can listen to the whole way through. Their harmonies are perfect. Um, and their, their, their lyrics are really, really good, too. I'm going to post their YouTube link down there. And uh, you definitely, definitely should check them out. They're amazing. Hannah and Maggie. Um, I really want to collab with them, too. They're amazing. So if they see this, can we? Anyway, uh, thank you, guys. Um, about the hat, my friend made this for me. It's a bear. Um, she's amazing. Justina, I love you. But, uh... Thank you guys for your questions. Um, next time, I'll do the ones that I got on my email and YouTube page. Um, so look forward to that. Love you guys. See ya.